Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Happy 4th of July to everybody across the southwest here taking a look at the visible satellite imagery and you can see we've got sea surface temperatures on here as well. You can see the pretty uh, relatively chilly water here across the state of California. You know, some lower 50s here showing up with the upwelling that happens across central and northern California. A little bit warmer down towards southern California and look at the Gulf of California down there. Much warmer water here and of course as you go south down towards Mexico here, that's where those Tropical systems get going. The water is much warmer. But if you look closely here, you can see some of this marine layer kind of trying to burn off here for some of the valley areas. But you can see that stratus layer pretty persistent up and down the California coastline. Taking a look here, you got the Von Karman vortex going on here off some of the islands. You're always an interesting feature here watching these eddies and these vortexes move around in that stratus and marine layer. This is looking at, uh, if you're looking for weather updates here, again, the state of California is included here. Medford does include Northern California. You got Eureka, Sacramento, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Hanford, Reno, Las Vegas, San Diego, and Phoenix all cover portions of California there. So if you want to go ahead and go to NOAA, you can click on these individual regions out here as well. And you can always get detailed and up-to-date information by doing so. They're also on Twitter and Facebook as well. This is looking at the high temperature forecast. Again, pretty warm day out there for Redding. If you want to beat the heat get to the coastline there but we should be on a downward trend for some of these temperatures sacramento back down to the lower 90s as you can see today this is high temperatures wednesday so check it out a little bit of a cool down coming here but just relatively speaking it's these palm springs and thermal 109 degrees but as always get to the coastline if you want to beat that heat independence day outlook here national weather service las vegas 105 a little bit of a cool down here from previous days there and a little bit breezy out there too so watch out for the elevated fire danger out there especially the firework activity going on here's very hot temperatures all week here look at phoenix 114 desert you know, baking joshua tree out there 94 degrees this is looking at the snowmelt flooding concern just a reminder those waterways are still flowing there we're still melting off that sierra snowpack up there so heads up for that minor coastal flooding possible a little bit of a summer king tide thing going on here in this you can see the highest cycles there 10 p.m to 2 a.m every night so interesting information like this on these individual national weather service pages here we go daily two meter max temperature here and as we go through today and tomorrow you can see that cool down start to occur there look at thursday Friday, not too bad there. Saturday, not too bad. Then we might start bouncing back some of these temperatures here as we go through the later portions here of July 11th, 12th. We'll see how that goes. Not much relief for the deserts, but you might feel a little bit of a cool down out there. And you can see Death Valley right here kind of showing up towards those greens there. <clears throat> Always up towards the 110, 120 mark, it seems like this time of year for Death Valley, as you can see, peaking probably about 121 degrees on July 12th. There, this is looking at total precipitation here on the European. This is just through Sunday night here, and you can see not much to speak about. Maybe a shower or two across Northern California, extreme northeast. Uh, Nevada here, no sign of monsoonal moisture really yet uh, through this weekend here for Arizona. More on that here in a moment. Here we go, Sacramento. You can see kind of the general cool down through this weekend and then the potential bounce back as we go through the following week. Los Angeles, and temperature suppressed by the marine layer out there, not getting too warm just yet. We'll continue to watch this as we go. Now, this is looking at the troughing here, the general ridge and trough position here at 18,000 feet. You're going to see the ridge out here off the coastline, and the ridge here is kind of weakening here. And watch what happens. This troughing did back off a little bit here. You know, yesterday's run showed a little bit better troughing here, but this should suppress the temperatures a little bit at least as we go through the weekend. So it is some relief, just not quite as much as what's been shown in previous days this is looking at 850 millibars 5,000 feet you can see the above average temperatures going on at the air aloft and then you can kind of see the cool down there it's just not as pronounced as it was the last previous days but it is a little bit of relief now here we go total precipitation this is the gfs i'm just going to run this out because there's not much to speak of here but it does show in the seven plus day period here potential for some of this moisture to start returning towards arizona here a few stray showers across northern california California and Nevada but you know you always got to look kind of far out in the forecast here so it's still not showing much signs of precipitation across much of the region here but in the extended always kind of showing that stuff coming across Arizona let's look at the European and go all the way out through 360 hours not a lot of precip but it does show potentially in the 10 day plus period maybe some returning to Arizona there 
6 to 10 day. You're going to see the bullseye across Utah, Nevada, and uh, some portions of Arizona here. And 8 to 14 day, maybe some of that moisture will start creeping up into the southern zones here as we go on in through mid-July. We'll see how that trends. This is 6 to 10 day, and now you can see above average again here for California. This is June, uh, July 9th through July 13th shown here. 8 to 14 day here. You can kind of get in the signal here across the desert southwest west for above average temperatures and this is uh, issued june 1st here we're still waiting for the july 1st when i believe it comes out tomorrow so it'll be interesting to see what it has uh the el the el nino here the forecast the anomaly plume as some of the models have been backing down a little bit on the strength of the el nino coming up here but still potentially headed towards a strong el nino which is uh shown by the 1.5 uh, temperature here and once we get to one that we're getting to the moderate territory and we're pretty close to that right Right now as you can see here so if i zoom in you can see nino 3.4 which is right here across the equatorial pacific kind of south and southeast of hawaii there's south america and australia would be down here so we're at 0.9 right on the threshold of becoming moderate el nino you can see that la nina back here and we've climbed out of that towards neutral conditions and now we are in weak el nino conditions here and kind of hovering there waiting for that uh, little bit additional warming here before we head into that moderate period coming up this is actually Average temperatures here from January 4th through July 3rd. And you can see much of the state of California pretty well below average here. In some places, you know, even four degrees or more below average across some of the central Sierra here. Some of the lower uh, uh, Southern California, I should say, the higher terrain as well. You know, nice, nice signal there across a lot of the state of California, Nevada, and Arizona for below average temperatures. Looks like it might be changing here a little bit as we go on in through July, though. Now, looking at precipitation departure from average, California's gain has kind of been the Pacific Northwest demise here as far as precipitation from January 4th through, again, through July. And you can see a lot of these areas are doing quite well here. Departure from average inches. You can see a lot of precipitation across California. So doing quite well there. So anyway, yeah, uh, hopefully we're not going to cause too many fires out there. Be careful with your fireworks, as always. You know, things are dry out there, but... Um, We'll be watching these temperatures coming in the extended too. We might warm back up again here, and we'll continue to watch for the arrival of that monsoon moisture coming up in Arizona. So anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Click like, subscribe, leave some comments below, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.